Hi friends, uh, today we'll discuss about the biosphere. So as uh, we are uh, well known about the other spheres like lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. So they're all other, uh, we, as a human beings, uh, so life also is interconnected with these other three layers like lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. So this biosphere is nothing but it's composed of life. So life is in the form of plants, animals and human beings. So these are major things. But how it is possible on the earth planet? So as we all know that earth is located in the third place in the solar system which is uh, having a moderate temperature and moderate distance from the sun which makes life possible uh, when compared to other planets. So today uh, we discuss about uh, in depth in the biosphere so like uh, food chain food chain is uh, a process as you know plants those who are primary food producers they produce food by taking water and nutrients from the soils and the sunlight. So once if they form the food in the form of leaves, in the form of fruits, vegetables, grains, the other uh, animals like you know uh, cattle, uh, goat, so they take the food from the plants. And as you know, this cycle like again the tigers and other carnivorous animals they eat this goat or you know cattle and again so this kind of process it's a called as a food chain in this food chain some of the animals they exchange some of the their uh, like uh, uh, you know uh, the benefits i can say which is uh, called a symbiotic process for example you saw some sort of cranes fall on the buffaloes they eat the worms uh, which are affecting the buffalo and uh, like this with these worms they uh, finish their food these cranes and the buffalo also get relieved from the pain of this insects so in such uh, this kind of process is nothing but symbiotic process wherein which one animal is getting the benefit from the other animal so Likewise, we are in the uh, process like we uh, give some of the benefits to other friends and also friends will exchange some of the, uh, you know, their uh, benefits to us. So this kind of uh, process is called a uh, symbiotic process. And we have in uh, two types of uh, animals like those animals, those who are uh, depending on the grass, you know, uh, and plants, vegetables, like uh, not in other animals, like eating this kind of uh, grass, vegetables, fruits and uh, thing called herbivorous animals. You know the examples like cattle, goat and other grass eating animals are nothing but herbivorous animals. And the animals which depend on these herbivorous animals are called carnivorous animals. Herbivorous or nothing but grass eating animals and whereas carnivorous animals they eat herbivorous animals or flesh eating or meat eating animals Now you tell me, human beings are herbivorous or carnivorous? Yeah, exactly. Human beings are carnivorous animals because they eat animals. So uh, this is about the food chain. But bacteria, those who are you know available in the soil, helps this uh, uh, nitrogen to fix in the soil. So because these plants need nitrogen, again this bacteria stores nitrogen in the soil 
that means it is making uh, helping the other plants so likewise these plants are also helping the other animals and these animals in, you know in turn again helping the, the larger the bigger animals so this kind of ecological environment ecological cycle yeah life cycle is is going on it's continuous but in fact if it disturbs if it disturbs with extinction extinction means what if the animal is not appearing means you can't see this animal just you can uh, uh, listen to the name for example dinosaur dinosaur the animals those are extinct now there is no more dinosaur in the world all are extinct likewise if the animals extinct then the process of the food chain also disturbs the other uh, a disturbing uh, agent is pollution pollution means if we pollute the the other three layers for example land hydrosphere and lithosphere and your atmosphere then also this life will indirectly will affect the life cycle will affect that means pollution or effluence also will make the disturbance of this normal food chain of our normal environment so this kind of uh, problem or disturbance is called ecological crisis so ecological crisis is nothing but the disturbance in the ecology in the environment so and this may be extinction of the animal or maybe the pollution created by human beings through industries or you know uh, the some other uh, activities also will affect the the normal environment this uh, two things for example extermination as we uh, said extermination is nothing but extinction extinction and the pollution pollution is nothing but mixing of poisonous substances in the fresh air or fresh water is nothing but a pollution a uh, mixing of poisonous substances poisonous material so these two culprits are uh, majorly affecting your ecology so this ecological crisis is just because of this so for example i'll tell you the importance you have heard about vultures those who uh, uh, their main uh, food is dead bodies of cattle so what happens now vultures are disappeared disappeared means extermination extinction okay they are disappeared now usually it's a very uh, natural phenomena that cattle will die after some age and usually villagers they take away this cattle those who are died outside the village and these vultures used to take the food of this dead uh, cattle but now that process break so there is a break in that process because now uh, smell is getting out uh, from the cattle because no vulture is coming and taking the food of the dead cattle why because the cattle uh now we are giving uh, injections like diclofenac diclofenac to this uh, cattle for you know uh, usually this uh, uh, veterinary doctors like uh, you know doctors those who uh, check the animals veterinary doctors usually they give diclofenac once if they uh, this cattle uh, get some uh, pain or no for uh, the usual uh, growth so this diclofenac stored and in the body of the cattle 
once if they die the vulture if they eat uh, this dead body of cattle the kidneys of the vultures get failed and immediately within a week these vultures died so likewise in this process just 10 to 15, 20 years of this process made vultures you know disappear from the villages so now you i can see very you know few vultures likewise this kind of uh, human uh, activity is making you know the ecological crisis the other thing as you know the wastage if you uh, for example the, the plants if you uh, the plants are overlaid by dust particles of the uh, automobiles this dust is covered and the transpiration and the, you know the process of you know uh, making food from the sunlight is stopped again the plant is died so likewise there is no food uh, for the herbivorous animal so likewise for carnivores also there is no food likewise its total life is disturbing just because of these two things it's very important Yeah, there is another example that industries are you know uh, pouring the their wastage in the water so in this process mercury is consumed by microorganisms this mercury again in turn is consumed by the fishes and then uh, human beings are uh, taking these fishes as a food and affecting the this mercury in their uh, this thing and it's making disorders in the human body maybe it leads to cancer so this kind of uh, the examples which i told you which will affect again to the human body also it's not like we are disturbing the ecology ecology also once if we disturb the ecology ecology again will re disturb uh, human uh, beings so that is very important for us to learn about